is up guys it's so bash welcome back we are going to take a look at one of the best builds for nana in the game of mobile legends uh today we're going to look at her gear first and for this build it is basically going to be a simple six that we are going to go with number one is the oracle number two is frost number three is magic shoes number four is enchanted talisman Number five is Courage Bulwark, and number six is Dominance Ice. Now, out of all of those six items, you're going to get a variety of stats. Uh, these stats do include a 60% cooldown reduction, the majority of that coming from Dominant Ice and Enchanted Talisman. You're gonna get a total of 2,020 health with the majority of that coming from Courage Bulwark and the Oracle. You're only gonna get about 36 magic resist from, from the Oracle itself and 70 armor from dominance ice now as far as movement speed goes you're going to get plus 40 movement speed from your magic shoes and another seven percent movement speed on top of that from your frost 80 hp regen comes from oracle and courage bulwark mostly and 500 mana comes from dominance ice alone now 40 mana regen is going to come from enchanted talisman and your frost item and you're also going to get another 130 magic power from this enchanted talisman and frost item as well now with all those stats combined that is going to increase your total cooldown reduction rate of all your skills so your skills are going to be coming back a lot faster you're going to have some armor some magic resist and you're also going to get a good little decent amount of health for survivability but that hp regen and mana regen is going to be able to help you sustain throughout the fight that way you're not worried about having to go back you can actually sustain and help control the fights now what this build is actually built around is of course nana is not only a mage but she is a support character now she is a specialty in reap of course but she can support as well that's what this build right here is built around is her support characteristics that she has now let me explain what that means that's accounting for that 60 percent cooldown reduction because what it's going to do is it's going to take your boomerang your first ability it's going to take it from a five second cooldown to a three second cooldown now you're not going to get but 130 more magic power onto that ability but you're going to be able to almost spam that ability constantly without worrying about mana too much now the second ability morph spell that's going to reduce that ability from 14 seconds down to somewhere around five to six second cooldown now that is very huge because morph is one of your main spells that lets you control people and it also does a little bit of damage now it's only doing 180 at the very first level but 330 points of magic damage at that fifth level so late game every five to six seconds you can turn someone into this little dragon cat looking thing so basically what that's going to do is give you a very high chance of being able to help control your enemy team and let your uh, teammates successfully take them out now of course the third ability which is your ultimate the dragon cat summons the original cooldown on it is 36 seconds with this build it is effectively taking it down to 17 seconds so within 17 seconds you could potentially stun your your opponents or knock them up four different times with this build all right and the last thing on this build i want to talk about are the passives now with the passives on this build you already have one which is your innate one a nimble and that increases her movement speed by 10 percent each time an ability hits and that will stack up to 20 percent that lasts for three seconds now that goes along with the magic shoes that you're getting and that movement speed from the frost item as well so you're effectively going to be able to move very fast with this build so building onto your passives that's what this game is all about it's about increasing what she already is capable of doing now moving on to the next passive you're going to have the one from the oracle which is the passive stream and what that does is within four seconds of after being attacked she will regen four percent of her hp now this effect has an eight second cooldown timer but it will continually do that now with that being her first item that is in the build that's going to help you sustain throughout the entire fight the next passive comes from the item frost and that is that skills that damage an enemy will carry a 10 percent slowdown effect now this effect can last three seconds and it can stack up to three times 
So effectively, if you hit someone enough times with abilities, which could include your morph or your boomerang, it will hit twice if you successfully do it right. And you also have your ultimate. So if you hit all three of those effectively, they should already be slowed down 30%. Now the next passive is coming off of Enchanted Talesman. After a kill or an assist, this regens you 20% of your hero's mana within 5 seconds. Really huge in team fights and helps this build sustain throughout the fight and helps you push lanes with your team and win matches. Now another passive that is in with this one is from Courage Bulwark and it raises your attack and defense of surrounding allies by 10%. Now, you are not only helping out your team when you're morphing people and controlling them, you're also assisting them by raising their attack and their defense with this item here. And last but not least, we have Dominance Ice, which has a unique passive called Arctic Cold, which lowers movement speed by 5% and lowers attack speed by 30% to nearby enemies. Now that is really unique because that's gonna play off of Frost as well because if you're already getting 30% off of doing from just the abilities from using the passive on Frost, you're gonna get an extra 5% from this automatically and it's gonna lower enemies attack speed. So therefore overall with this build, you have faster spell times, you are able to help manage your team by being able to effectively control if someone dashes in, you can take out that fighter that dashes or engages you can morph them, knock them up, and effectively let your team basically be able to take out their initiator, and you can just steamroll the rest of the team there after that because your abilities are coming back so fast. Now guys, this is going to be it for this build guide. Uh, if you have any questions or wanna add anything to this build, feel free to do so in the comments below. I do take any suggestions and I will reply to them all. If you have any other questions, like I said, leave them in the comments. If you'd like to see a best build on any of your favorite characters, please let me know in the comments below as well. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soulbash. You guys have a nice day.